Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing the Dragon Sheep Hybrid Challenge again. If you don't know what this challenge is, basically you take all the dragon tribes from Wings of Fire and give them a number 1 through 10. You take a random number generator and generate two random numbers. Those numbers correlate to a dragon, and you make a resulting hybrid out of the two dragons you get. Uh, in this video, I again did three different dragons, and just like last time, all of them are going to be put up as free adoptables. Make sure to check the description before asking for a dragon to see if any are available. Without taking any longer on this intro, let's get into the video. For our first hybrid of today, we got a 2 and a 4, which means we have a Sandwing Sewing Hybrid. I feel like the best way to describe this hybrid is kind of like one of those toys you can find where it gives you like two sets of parts uh, and you can kind of mix and match them however you want. Because it's, it's not a perfect blend of Sewing and Sandwing, it's kind of just a part of Sandwing and then a part of Sewing. I guess the only real part that blended in any way is the C-Wing um, back spines where they have like the um, the scales in between their back spines and the sand wing frill. That, I mean, it kind of merged in the final product. And I also think it was kind of cool to use that same back spine uh, frill on the underbelly, kind of like the C-Wings have. But other than that, it didn't really get mushed together. It was just separate pieces, so. And with that, we have our finished hybrid. This is Coastline. Coastline is a male, and he is a Sandwing Sea Wing hybrid. He's an ambivert, and he's a calm guy. He's the kind of person who, like, if you have a problem, he'll sit with you for hours on end listening to you talk about it, and will do anything to make you feel better. For our next hybrid of today, we got an 8 and a 5, so a Silkling Ringling hybrid. As soon as I saw what tribes I got, I had an idea. This girl is the most pick-me girl-esque, flamboyant little bugger you will ever meet. She, she can change her scale colors to be whatever she wants it to be, but she'll usually pick the most flashy of colors she can possibly have. She will be all up in your face trying to get your attention, being like, oh, look at me, aren't I just an angel child? Aren't I just so beautiful? Like, girl, get out of my way. That's, that's the kind of dragon we're dealing with here. I felt like the flower design that she has on her wings worked perfectly with her character since, you know, rain wings live in the rainforest and silk wings have the designs on their wings. And it also inspired her name, which ended up being Leilani, which if you don't know, means heavenly flower. Honestly, when you meet her though, you are going to beg to differ. After I finished the liner, I kinda had no idea what I wanted to do for the color palette. So I just went to a random color palette generator and generated one. And uh, yeah, no. I think she would totally have this as her main scale color seeing as it is very bright and in your face. In the end, this is the embodiment of a pick me girl we ended up with. As I said before, her name is Leilani and she is a girl. She is a Suckling Rainwing hybrid, and she is very much extroverted. She is, again, very flamboyant and will be in your face as soon as you see her. And to finish off this video, we got a 3 and a 1, so a Skywing Mudwing hybrid. I don't know how I came up with the depressing character that is this hybrid but here we are anyways i also decided to make him deaf i don't know we need a character with a tragic backstory of course if you are to adopt this character you can change anything you want about it but hey if you keep the deaf thing i'll be happy if i were to give a little backstory to this guy 
I feel like he'd end up at the school that the Dragonettes of Destiny made, and he'd end up friends with a sea wing, who, you know how like the sea wings can talk with their flashing scales? I can't remember what it's called for the life of me, but maybe in some way they could work together and teach this hybrid how to communicate like without talking. Of course, this is just an idea, and if you are to adopt this hybrid, or any of the hybrids for that matter, you can change anything you want. Just, again, an idea. This doesn't have to do with really anything right now, but for some reason, this dude ended up really tall. I, I don't know, just tall boy. I kind of like the aspect of having a really tall dragon and I feel like somebody as like anxious as he is, it would totally work out. And to end this video, here is our hybrid copper. He is a male and he is a Skywing Mudwing hybrid. He is very much introverted and anxious all the time because, again, he's deaf. Like I've mentioned, each of these dragons are up as free adoptables now, so you can ask in the comments if you want to adopt one. Just make sure to check the description to see if any are still available before asking. And that concludes my second time doing the Dragon Sheep Hyper Challenge. Thank you so much for watching through this video. And uh, you're probably seeing more on screen right now. If you want to check them out, it helps. If not, uh, I hope you find another video that's more entertaining than mine. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day, evening, or night. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!